Testing one, two. Testing one, two. PCD. Please respect my channel. That's all I ask. Hey guys, how are you? Mm -hmm. Dana Patterson, Q, Q, I'm glad you're here because this is about something that you like what I put out a while ago. How y'all doing, guys? Been working on this project for a minute. How y'all doing? Agent Phillips, how are you? What's good? S-G-T-G-J-J. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hope everything sounds good. Just doing some research the last couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been working on this project for a while for the end user, people that's working from home due to the pandemic. Hey Q, if you can do me a favor, if you can look at the top there and you see what it say, I will not be addressing nothing but technology. That's it. Anybody don't play by the rules? You will be kicked. It's, it's that simple. Southern Tech Girl, how are you? Brianna Nelson, AKA Jolly, how are you? All I ask is anybody to come in here, please respect my channel. That's all. That's it. If everybody keep addressing that, I bounce. This is about technology. Oh, that fight. <laughs> My apology. <laughs> Q, my pike. I apologize, fam. Sorry, my brother. Kind of you respectful dude. 
I'm just hanging out. I got mine recording. How y'all doing, guys? I forgot all about the fight. I done preset that recorded up. I can get it. I dig it. It's going to be brief anyway. Please set my biology, brother. That was my bag. Q, please set my apology, man. What's going on, brother? Just chilling, man. You ain't lying. Packy is that guy. Did the fight start yet? Southern Tech girl. Did the fight start yet? I forgot all about it. I got mine ready to record. I recorded every prelims and everything. been working on this project and um finally executed it tr dub what's going on again my bag my brother i apologize just been busy working on some technology that i think the um end user can use you know in their day to day that's right UFC on too wow not yet hello guys on the table there Mini PC. Adrian, I get you. Long day. Thank you for coming out, man. Appreciate you. 4 a.m. God damn. I feel you. 4 a.m. Get some rest, my brother. Mm hmm. Guys, on this channel is about options and solutions. I try and show my people that follow my channel that there are options and solutions when it comes to this um, streaming, cutting the cord, and everybody seems to use this Android. You know, I done, I done did my research and I found out how to use Windows and Android in the same environment. Yeah, Windows and Android in the same environment. On the table there. So many piece many PC. And coming up is Windows 11 that they say you can run Android on. You'll be able to run Android apps on it. Tim, how are you? Paper. How you feel, my brother? And as I was saying, guys, Windows 11 is coming out and you'll be able to run Android apps from it. But guys, I've been working on this for about 10 months. And guys, on the table there, this is what I've been working on. It took me 10 months to complete this task. And I finished it maybe about two weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an M.2 M. storage. What I did was, I had one installed in this PC right there, you see. But what I did was, this is a 512. I took 256 gigs and another 256 gigs, and I partitioned it. I cut it in half. But this is what I did, guys. On the first 256, I run Windows 10. On the second partition 256 i run android tv huh yeah i run two operating systems from one storage device it took me 10 months to execute this i've seen a couple of youtubers from overseas and 
And I make there's a way to make this happen. Guys, let's take it to the desktop. That's the tech desktop to guys. We in the Windows environment. It's in, and this mini PC is a Lenovo M700. As you see in a previous video I did, it takes a SATA hard drive, solid state, and it also takes an M.2. And what I was doing was running Windows 10 from the M.2 and running Android TV OS from this stores solid state drive but now doing my researching testing and testing testing i got both operating systems running from this guys i'm gonna restart this um, mini pc and i'll show you what i mean but first of all guys i'm gonna show you the specs of mini pc i'm gonna go to about And as you see right there, it's an Intel i5-6500T, and it's running at 2.58 gigs of RAM. And guys, it is activated. When I purchased this from eBay, and guys, I got this from eBay due to the pandemic and companies that's going under. As you see, I paid $56 for it, but the shipping killed me because it come from the West Coast, $85. And I purchased it last year, July 29th, two years before. I got a couple of these joints now because this is what I've been doing. Running two operating systems. I've been running two operating systems on one M.2. Guys, I think this is a game changer for the end user. And y'all know that's what I'm about. And anybody that has these many PCs in your home, I can show you how to make it happen. Guys, going back to the desktop. I'm going to hit the start menu. And I'm going to restart this device. Power, restart. Guys, I've been working on this for about 10 months and I think I executed it. Paper. The mini PC is restarting. It's a low Nova. M700. Thank you, paper, man. I've been grinding this for 10 months, man. And guys, as you see right there, you have two options. You can boot into Windows 10 or come boot into this, Grub to Windows. I select that. And it gives me this menu here. It's kind of small there, guys, but in the middle there, that's Android TV OS. I'm gonna select and hit enter. And it goes to the other partition of that M.2, M and you will see the results. Just doing this thing. And there you are, guys. It's running a Android operating systems on Windows hardware. And ladies and gentlemen, did you see how quick that loaded? Because M.2s are five times faster than spinning mechanical hard drives. And guys, this thing is fast. Guys, let me go show you up here. It's in the settings. Go to the settings. Let's go to device preferences. And let's go to the storage. First, let's go to about. I named the PCD and it's based off the Nexus player, 10 years old device, and it's running what? Android Pi. We come out of there. 
guys, let's go to the storage. That's an Android operating system with 53 gigs of storage on a Windows environment. 53 gigs of storage. That's the 128. The other half is about 60 gigs for Windows 10. And I got about 57 gigs for Android TV OS. And guys, you want to see the performance on this? Let's do a speed test. Let's go home. I'm going home. We come down to the apps. Let's do a speed test. Go to Analyti. This is hardwired. And you see the numbers there. This is on a Windows environment. And I do have gigabit. Miss Gloria White, how are you? It's PCD. Tadal, how are you? And guys, you see that there, right? 690 on the download, 256 on the up. Let's come out of here. Silo launcher. These are apps that cannot run on ATV environment because they're stock apps. But guys, let's do a speed test with fast. Fast is by Netflix. And I'm getting about a half, a little less than a half a gig. Oh, okay. Give me that 500. I'll take that 430. 400. It's coming down. It's coming down. Shout out to Q. The Q was digging this when I did it last time. And, gu and guys, I finally completed it. How are you, Miss White? How you doing, Glow? Tadal. Christine, how are you? ST, SGTG, JJ. I have been trying out the Sudo Z9X with some issues. Thinking about returning it because there's not any support that I could find. Would you want me to email you to see if I can help? SGTGJJ. You know my email. Get at Philly at gmail.com. I got you. You don't have to send it back, man. I'll show you how to make it happen. I will show you. Because it is, you know, Sudo, I hate to say this, but Sudo devices, their website, they give you the firmware updates and all that. But that manual, it ain't none. That device has Chinese parts and UK firmware. And where they play over UK, their, their devices, they are all of them just about made for um serving it up on your um network. And they expect you to know that if you're in the UK. But if you're in the United States, you might struggle. But guess what? I will help you out. Shoot me an email tomorrow evening. Shoot me an email tonight, tomorrow evening. I'll help you out. In the building. The Bigs. How you feel, man? Much respect, man. How are you? I got you, man. Just reach out, email me, and I'm help help you out. And guess what? Everybody had that problem. There's some services that you got to turn on. And they so far in the background, it's a shame. They're not right in front. They're not even in the app store. In your app drawer. I will show you how to make this happen. Shout out to SGTG, JJ, Philly Cable Dave, got you. 
is about the end user. Let's go back to the mini guys. I'm running Android TV OS. Little caveat guys. YouTube kept crashing on this atmosphere. But it will play just about any kind of content. Because guys. This is not Analogic. This is not Rockchip. This is Intel. This is an Intel processor on there. Not Tegra. Not Analogic. Tegra that comes with the NVIDIA shield. It's a beast in the Android world. And Logic S905 on up, 453. And Logic, that's in the Android world. I want you to understand it. Rock chip, eh, I don't even do them. They're heaters. But the bigger rock chips, the um, chipset are much, much nice. But guys, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. This is stronger than uh, NVIDIA Shield. That's Tegra X1. Let me go get Audi and show you what this got in it. Guys, look at that screen there, will you? What's that cue? PCD, when your Fred is adding on this, it will blow your new to do out the water. <laughs> Probably slow. Billy Wiggins, ladies and gentlemen, I must say this. I must address this. This young lady, when I did the first video, she got it. Android TV running from my own Windows environment. And Billy got so deep, she said, Philly, can you run it from a USB jump drive? I was hurt. And yes, you can. You don't have to have no internal storage. You can store, install the same software with both environments, Windows and Android TV OS on one USB drive. Long as it's 32 gigs or more, have 15 gigs a piece, it will run from the USB port. Much love, Billy. Tell Super Chuck I said, what's up? Uh-oh. Five dollars from Billy Lawrence. Pair of characters lying on the side. Raises his arm while saying, How is it? How's it going? My man Chuck. Hope you get out that pain, man. That's my Chuck and Billy. L. Wiggins. Guys, it's about technology and the end users. Guys, if you working from home, this is what I was doing. You can work from nine to five, log out of Windows 10, and log into your ATV. And guys, I'm going back to the mini. And look, here's the specs. It's that Nexus firmware. As you see right there, we have the mouse set. It's running eight gigs of DDR3. And, not, and it, look at the percentage on it. Internal storage, 48 gigs. It got 36 gigs of free space. 35 gigs of free space. CPU. And you see what that say? It don't say Analogic. It don't say Tegra. It says Intel i5 running at 2.5. This is not no Android. This is not the Android environment. This is the Windows environment. GoPro, how are you, my brother? Appreciate you. Chat moving around. How you feel, bro? 
Dow Kid. PCC barbecuing with some burgers and listening to your live. Thank you, gang. Appreciate you, man. But guys, back at the ranch. You see what it says right there, right? This is running four cores. Most Android devices are gonna run two. I could do the display 1920 by 1080, as you see right there, where my mouse is at. Right here, guys. And I do have it hardwired, and it doesn't support 2.5. Aren't yes, it do? It's a fake out. And guys, it's running Android Pie, as you see right there, where I have the mouse at, I'm waving it. I was joy. No, I have not. I did a bench test, bench mark test when I first started this project about eight, 10 months ago to run Android TV OS and Windows in the same environment on the same M.2. But I just want to go look at performance myself. That's all. And as you see, it's popping. As long as I get speeds like that. In the Windows Android world on Intel hardware, I'm good. Guys, just a little uh teaser. In 48 hours, I'm gonna break this whole thing down. And guys, as you see right there, 733 on the down. Upload funky at times due to my internet. But guys, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, you see it in the Android, um, in the Android ATV world. Let's go boot back the windows. And this is how you do this. Here's my keyboard right there. I'm gonna hit Control Alt Delete, and I'm gonna go to the PC. What you see right there on the side, right there. You can power it off, restart, put it to sleep, or take a snapshot. I'm gonna restart it. This is a nice option and solution. That's what my channel is. It's about using the devices that you got. If you get a new one and I got it, I will help you execute, you know what I mean? Do what you got to do with it. It's re rebooting into the main menu where you will have option. As you see, Windows 10s or grub to me which is Android, the software I had to use. I'm going to select Windows 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Windows 10 environment. This is M.2. It don't take long to get to the desktop. There you are. What? 10 seconds? Guys, I'm going to Chrome. I got Plex running from here. That's going to be part of the next video. I'm gonna do a speed test in the Windows environment. That's Google right here, Google speed test. You see it. This is in the Windows environment. And on this, the chip is really working like it's supposed to. Your upload and your download speeds. As you see, 806. On the download, 416 on the up. Let's come on down and go to Ukta. Ukula. I'm in Philly. I'm going to change the server. Data spindle. I'm Verizon. Let's do a speed test. Nice ping at 10. And as you see, nothing has changed. 800. 
in the building. Ruben, how are you? What's good? Eight hundred and ninety on the download, and you see it's in the nine hundreds on the upload, and it's still pushing it. There's the results, people. On the ping, ten. Eight hundred and ninety on the download, nine hundred and twenty-two on the up. Miss Gloria White was answering a question. It's basically technology satisfied for the moment and don't need another streaming or media box for a while. Exactly. Because this is the old mini PC. This joined about maybe 2017. But Windows 10 operating system keep updating. It ain't the best updates, but it may get happen for its end user. So my question is, how can I benefit me? I'm here to learn. Hey, Glow. Miss White. I'm like this. This is round one of this. I'm running Windows 10 and one, one half of the hard drive. I'm running Android TV OS and, and, um, and the other half of the hard drive. And Windows 10, what can you do? You're going to install media servers, just the prelims. In the next video, I'm install Windows. I'm, excuse me, I'm install Plex in the Windows environment, and I'm install MB in the Android environment. Just, just the prelims to let you know what a mini PC for $85 is going to do. If you're not already had them Sudo devices, or your money ain't that long, Guys, you can buy a mini PC. Get at me if you're not um if you're on point with me. We're bonding, and I will show you how to create a hard drive that's dual boot with Windows 10 on one partition and Android TV OS on the partition. Guys, you didn't you're not gonna see me install no APKs or nothing. That's round two. This I will benefit you. You can turn this mini PC into a media server for your home network in the windows environment and in the atv environment you work from nine to five five fifteen put your sweats on log into android tv os and watch your content and also watch anything that's connected to it on your network this is only round one part one paper said philly k day i think you might have changed my direction on my pc project I have it planned. It's about option and solution and doing your own research. There's a lot of people in the community, or excuse me, let me get that at. There's a lot of people on YouTube. It ain't about the neighborhood, it ain't about the community. It's about me and the end users and everybody in the chat. I'm not getting caught on with that. And I hope you see this, um, this things creamed up. I'm not addressing nothing. This is about tutorials, trying to help the end user and people that's trying to cut the cord. That's it. Guys, what's that paper? Bobby Ditch. What's going on, man? How you feel? Thanks for coming through. Hey, paper, reach out to me. You know what I mean? Because I'm quite sure that you got the software to make this happen. Let me go back to the mini PC. And guys, as you see right there, it ain't that big. I used it three pieces of software. EX2 value, a partition software to split the hard drive, and then make it boot to another partition of the hard drive. I seen a content creator do this about maybe two years ago, and I've been rumbling with it. The last 10, 10 months of it, I've been trying to make it happen. And I finally succeeded about two weeks ago. I had this on an M dot on a um SSD. But I found a way to clone it and put it on an M.2, which is one of the fastest storage device, you know, storage items out there. And guys, feel me again. Power button. It's five o'clock and you finish from work. Restart your computer. 
You punch out. And it goes to the boot menu, which took me about eight months to do. That was the only thing. I know how to start Android TV OS and Windows on one hard drive, but I had to get them the option to boot to which partition. And there you are, guys. You go, it's, you finish with work. It's 5 o'clock, 5.15. You put your sweats on. You come down and grub to Windows. Hit Enter. This menu comes up. Guys, I will be able to blow it up next time. But in the middle there, as you see, you got three options. The green one that looks like a little Android, you select that. And it boots you into the other partition of the M.2, which has Android TV OS on it. It's 515. Get your stream on. There you are, guys. It take that long to load. We say, Ruben. You have some great looking speed numbers. Yeah, I've used gigabit, good cables. And the main thing, guys, place your router in the right place. That's the thing. Router placement. In the middle of your house, you got four ten antennas on it. Two up, two to the side. You want it to broadcast everywhere. And I use good cables. Everybody say 5 That's the regular. I use uh, six. For any device in my home, if I'm running far and I'm running cab seven for my Nazis, which I have two, QNAP two, five, one plus, and I got a Synology. I'll be digital. Where the spot where you find that uh, mini PC at? Bobby Digital. This is where I found it at. eBay. And I bought this two years ago. 2019. $85. It was originally $56, but it was on the West Coast. I live in Philly, East Coast. He charged $29 for shipping, but we worked it out. He charged me about $20 for shipping. He took $9 off because I bought more than one. But guys... I done purchased about maybe three, four, three or four more of these because they have pro pro providers for some of my family members and also some of my clients. And some people that had this, um, that I showed this concept to, they already had many PCs. They already had desktop PCs. Small four factor. Yes, if you got a tower PC, I can show you how to make this happen. Guys, that's a 512 M.2. And this PC right there is a 128. And I got it split. On one side, Windows 10. On the other side, Android TV OS. And I worked on this for 10 months. Six months, I found the software to make it boot to any one partition I want. And it's on. Guys, in the coming weeks, as you see, I got two operating systems on there. I did a demo today. Once I completed this, I did a demo this week doing some research. I got three operating systems on here now. I got Windows. I got Android TV OS. And y'all know y'all seen my video with a Phoenix OS. That's stock Android Nougat. I got three operating systems on one piece of storage. That's on the S Solid State Drive 256. I'll put it out there if anybody want to see it. Good info as usual, PCD. Can I practice on my little fan less than um, B Link? To Dow. Them little B Links I tried it on, it runs okay. Let me ask you this. The thing is, you must need, you must have more than 64 gigs of storage. If you got any one, any of them other PCs that's lower than 64 gigs, because you got to have two operating systems on it. You know, Windows alone is about 
on the disc it says eight gigs, but it depends on the device you device you have. Once you start Windows 10 on it, you got to update it. The update of Windows 10 is about another five gigs. So that's going to be about 16 gigs right there. So you'll have 16 gigs left if you partition it. If you partition, put it this way, if you partition the 64 gig storage on your B-Link, you're going to have 32 gigs for Windows and 37 gigs for Android TV OS. But when you format it, you know you lose, you lose storage through the security. Yeah, <laughs> you just got it, man. I'm going to leave that alone, but thank you. Gloria, this is what I was mean you were talking about a minute ago. You gave me a little bit of insight on this, so help me do this. I plan. Yeah, like you don't know. That's my Gloria White. We bust it up and we just trade ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, Gloria White in that chat right there. Technology driven. Don't get it twisted. She laid back. But Gloria White is technology driven. Much love, respect, Glow. Tadal, you ain't you said it right there, man. I got one of them joints maybe about three years ago. And I had the, you know, I had storage on a 64 gig. After I did the updates, I had about maybe 20 gigs left. It was saying I had 34 gigs for a Windows installation. I tried to go to the update folder and dump it. I dumped it. The computer, the mini button PC wouldn't start. I don't get that. The updates will kill you on the mini PCs that's built all in one. If that non, if that that hard that hard drive is soldered on the board, ain't nothing you can do. But as you see on this mini PC, I can take that out. Also, I can add more storage. One goes right there. That's for a solid a SATA, solid state or moving. Guys, in my next video, I'll be starring installing Plex on this Windows atmosphere, and I will be using the SATA connection for my storage. That's running the operating systems, Windows and Android TV OS, but this will be my data. That'll be coming up in 48 hours. I just wanted to break this down to you guys to let you see. It was about option and solutions. If you got a mini PC or a small form factor, them little joints. Not no tower, the little joints. They're beasts. I got a couple of them. And I run Windows and Android TV from that. And it got eight USB ports. So you can do what you want with the storage. And I want it as a Plex server and an MB server. Here you go. And them devices you can find on eBay for $50, $60, $70. Guys, I take old devices and make them happen. Use what you got to make it happen. You don't have to buy something every time, you, you know, I mean, you, you, you see technology. You have to buy it. Guys. And not pricey. PC, 80, $85. All right, I'm sorry. $74. He took some $9 off. It came with eight gigs of storage, eight gigs of memory, excuse me. I bought an M.2 on Amazon for a Kingston M.2 was like $26. I just got this 512 silicone power. This was $52. I got this two days ago. In the next video, I'm going to clone this heart, clone that 128 and put it on this 512. And I'm going to have this as a gig of storage. So I can install Plex on it, Windows side, and MB on the Android TV OS side. It's been PCD, guys. Just a little update. Bobby Digital. Matter of fact, Bobby Digital. It don't even got to be an Intel i5. Bobby Digital. I ran it on a... Take note to this. 
Lenova. I got a family member that I got one of these for. Bobby Digital. I went and got a Lenovo M53, which they're very cheap in price. They was very cheap in price. I think I got one for like maybe $45. It came with four gigs of um, RAM, and that's all you need. It don't have option for two storage. You just got one option for SSD. Which I ran. Everything from here. This was $22. And guys, this is a cheap brand, but under the crucial company. This is 60 gigs. When I formatted it, 27 gigs for Windows. And about 26 gigs for Android TVOS. And it's lightning fast. Paper. 100% agree. Just keeping the cool for sure. They got a lot better. Summon Tech Girl. Greeting. Anytime, Bob, reach out, man. Go to eBay, man, and let me say this. It's PCD. Guys, due to the pandemic, there's a lot of companies that went under. I found a company on a PC um, seller on eBay. It was this company in the Midwest called Cooper Health Systems. He had 50 employees. At the pandemic, everybody was furloughed. They worked from home. In five months, they seen that they was making more money that people was working at home. They kept it like that. They sold their building and they sold all their gear. All their technology, they sold it to an asset company and they put it on eBay. They just had 50 M53 by Lenovo for sale. He's practically giving them away. I bought a couple for a couple of family members, installed the software on there. Nobody's looking back. They work nine to five. Put your sweats on at 515, punch out, boot into Android TV OS. Simple. Stable, guys. And this thing about here. To dial them to push out to you. I like them uh, B Link PCs. They're all built in, but I don't mean no harm. They ain't got no fan. I don't care what kind of mini PC it is, minutes for them. And if it ain't got no fan and you put some intense apps on it, it's going to get hot. I don't care what kind of heat sink of technology you're thinking about. It ain't. But guess what? 2018 M700. There's a heat sink right there. This thing running cool. And for the road, guys. Control, Alt, Delete. I'm going to restart it and go back to Windows for the last time, guys. Hey, Joan, how are you? Joan, I pushed this video out for you and Gloria. No, I'm only playing. How are you, Joan? My glow white know about this. I know about this concept. It's PCD. How are you, John? It's shutting down from out of the Android Pi. 
atmosphere. Paper says, Billy Cable Tate. So when you put the 512 M.2, you're splitting it in half and going to give more than one OS than others. Paper. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. You give the end user, family members, or client, you can boot Windows 10 and use Office all day, 9 to 5, to get work done. When you punch out at 5 15, 5 o'clock, put your sweats on, your slippers on, eat your dinner, boot in the Android TV OS, and watch your content. And also, it is something inside this software that no other Android operating system has. Let me say this again. And this software that I found that's installed on this mini PC it has some features on there that I have not seen on no other device. And guys, I'm going to give you a teaser that I'm gone. We'll watch it after you're done. I appreciate you. I got to rededicate hey, paper. Yeah. Fully cable D. So when you put the 512 M.2, you're splitting it in half. Yes, I am. And going to get more than one operating system than the others. Yes, sir. Would be beneficial to allow most users to have a larger partition. Exactly. A paper. I got this running on a two terabyte M.2. I'm just giving you a teaser today. 936 gigs for Windows. 940, 937 gigs for Android TV OS. It's coming. It's coming. But guys, I'm going back to the mini. I'm going to shut him down. Booting back up, guys. Yes, sir, paper. You know where I'm at. Guys. I'm going to show you something in the Android TV side that's crazy. That's why I was working on this, working on this project for 10 months. There we are. We're going to boot into Android TV OS again. And I'm going to show you one feature. And I want y'all to think about what you could do with this one feature. I'm booting into the Android TV Pi environment right now. And guys, before I go, I got to show you this. This is oh. 10 months, guys. There you are, guys. Paper. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can, take a screenshot of this, what I'm going to show you in the settings. I'm going up to the settings. I'm in settings. I'm coming down to device preferences. I'm going to select it. Guys, get your screenshots ready. <laughs> Brianna Nelson, Jolly. You need to ask me something? Email me. Well, talk to me now. But you got my number. Stop playing. Guys, I'm coming down. Guys, have your screenshots ready. I'm going to storage. Now, everybody in the STEM community have experienced Android TV OS. It's one of the NVIDIA Shield, the Mi Box, Mi Cool, TiVo. That's the operating system. Android TV OS. Guys, I'm in storage inside this device. I'm hit enter. That's the storage. That's 53 gigs. I meant to go to systems. Guys, check me. 
Do you see the settings here? Processor mode, virtual memory, but most of all, look at this right here, guys. If you can screenshot this, do it right now. Local network services. Let me take Jolly down. Watch when I hit enter. You got to allow ADB. Do you see that right there? Allow Samba service? Yes. This has built-in Samba. This device will show up on your network with your USB storage connected to it, and you can share it. Not just Samba, which is shared folders. DNLNA service. Yes, it will show up as a media server inside Nova Video. Take a screenshot. This is not on no Android TV box. This firmware is crazy. Again, ADB, it's built in Samba, it's turned on. DLNA, if y'all know about technology, that's a media service showing up on your network and it's running. Take a screenshot. I'm telling you, this is a game changer. You ain't got to stall Plex or Envy in the Android world. This will show up on your network. Bobby Digital. What socket is the uh, is on the Nova? Intel i5 6500T, but they usually come with Intel i5 4790. But you can get an i3. Come on, it's the Windows environment. Windows environment with Android TVOS, which is light, 800 megs, 600 megs. It's going to run like a beast. I know what run better than NVIDIA, because that's Tegra. We talk about Windows hardware, Intel chipsets, i5, i3, i7. Google it and see what's faster. And Logic, Tegra, or Intel. What RAM is on there? It's eight gigs. Let me take it back to Audi. And I'll show you, brother. There it is right there. It says it right there. Eight gigs of DDR3, if you can see my mouse. Total memory is using change. Just got about all the coexes. Internal storage free space, you got 35 gigs is free. It's about 11 gigs of for the operating system. Eight gigs, that's so much as not using. CPU. And guys, this is what I want you to look at. This is important. Do you see where my mouse at? This thing is running at three and four percent. Three and four percent. It ain't doing nothing. And as you see right there, what that say? Intel i5 6500T running at 2.5. This 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 hardware. That's a real chipset. Not Tegra. Not Analogic S905 22. S905 X4 X3 X5 X4. X2 is running at 2% right now, 3%, 4%. And it's running four cores right there. Yes, DDR3. Eight gigs of it. And guys, these devices take up to... These little Novas take up to what? 16 gigs of DDR3. That's the max. That's what the website said. But you know, Philly, I went in. I took one of the devices, two 16s in there. This person wanted the Windows environment to fly. 
and, and I made it happen. 16 gigs on a Windows environment is crazy, but 16 gigs on an Android TV environment, I say less. Hey, Bobby Digital. I'll, I've got a lot of people going this route. You got the Windows environment, you can get your work on. You got the Android TV environment. You got your entertainment. One device, one piece of storage. And it ain't got to be an M700. Anything Nova, anything Dell. I got a Dell 9050. I'm going to show you next week. Run the same thing. I'm going to take this M.2 out, out there, put it in the um, SSD case, and I'm going to load the same thing. It's about option and solutions, guy, on this channel. There's more than one way to, to get it done. Q says, I like this better than the no seduce because you can add on to it. Exactly. And I got the new X20. I got X10, Z. But I use this as an option too. I ain't got mine running for many PC. I got one of those small, um, uh, small form factors, Dell 3050. That's what I got. It takes the same op same option, M.2 and an SSD. And I took the CD-ROM out and put a storage drive in it. So I got three storage options. One for my ma media, my content. One option for the um for the operating system, Windows and Android Pi, and I got an extra bay. Octavia, how are you? Running low is DDR4. I'm not holla back at me with that. Matter of fact, Octavia, the um Dell 3050 I got, that was like a buck eight. I got for a family member that took DDR4. Hey, I'm um, a uh, sub and tech girl. I load one of them up last week. Them M73s by Lenovo is, it was an i5. Um, excuse me, i3. And it ran great. I had eight gigs of memory, I had four gigs of memory in there. I had a four, um, four gig stick I added to it. It was running eight gigs of i3, 6100. It was cool. This person was able to stream content through the hack work she had the i5 connected to her 60 inch in her living room and she had a four bedroom house two fire sticks one one me cool k2 and she had a shield in her bedroom and every device on that network was able to access that lenova m73 and get it done and also with help she had um uh, she got Comcast and she got a hundred megs meg speed. It ain't about your internet. It's about your internal network. I put it down with a little generic TP link gigabit switch. Fourteen dollars. She was good. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all y'all for coming out and hanging out with Philly. Thank you all, end users, and everybody in the chat that's tech savvy or not. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's been a crazy week, but I still do what I got to do. And most of all, I got to say this. I want to leave that, leave that area alone, but I got to say this. My partner, my colleague, I don't care what them videos said. My legendary Super Dell, that's my man and always going to be my man. We had some conflict this week, but in my heart, I know Super Dell did not have nothing to do with it. But I think Dell know the person who did that. I think he's linked to him. Now I disrespect your channel in any kind of way by putting out that video, I will take it down. But one thing I know, I meant no harm by that, but I had to speak my mind. Super Dell, I appreciate you coming back with your live shows. I knew you was heated the first one. I knew you was heated to calm on the second one. But in my heart, 
I know you didn't have nothing to do with it. But some of your followers and people that you get down with put you on a pedestal. And they'll do anything for you. And I think they did things. Well, I know they did things without your authorization. And let me say this. Superdell, when you did your second live show, I got four crazy emails when you were doing your live show. So that no, that is not you. It's the people that's a part of your team. Somebody emailed me four times and called me ninjas and everything. Mr. Superdell, legendary, you said you're not going to follow my channel. You're not going to watch my content, but I'm, I'm, I ain't going there. Super Dell, I'm going to always watch you because you started this. I appreciate what you do for the community and just do what you do. I respect you as a man. You take care of your family. You do you. We had conflict this week, but that's how I felt. There's something that you did not address about that area at one minute nine something that you're not talking about. I'm going to leave it at that. Super Dell, I appreciate what you do. I'm sorry I ain't reached back out to you because I was heated. Just like the first night you made your video, you was heated all up in the camera and all that. That ain't, that ain't your character. But the people around you is doing things without your knowledge. And I think that's, that's killing your character. That's killing your brand. Just my opinion. Disclaimer. My opinion. I appreciate all y'all. The end users and the content creators that put in work. And ain't nobody put in more work than the legendary Superdell. And I appreciate you. If I disrespect you in any kind of way, I apologize. You ain't got to accept it for me not reaching back out to you, but that's how I felt. Once you said you greeted this person, then the next statement that you never talked about, oh, he's okay now. They made you link. Love, respect, though. I'm not going to go back and forth on this, but I just wanted to put that out there. I respect you, and I respect what you do. I hope we can bond again, but it's going to be in a different level because I think the respect for each other doesn't drop. Much love, respect. It's been Philly. Legendary Superdell, appreciate you what you do. Simple. I ain't mad at you. I'm mad at some of the company that be around you. They doing things behind your back that you don't even know. When you was talking loud the second night, I checked my emails. There's four emails in there while you were still speaking. You need to think about your company, I Love, respect. It's been PCD. The fight's on. Lanoa, how are you? 42.23. Paper. I get that, man. You guys are too talented and not going to get, a, get, get along together. We're going to make it happen, man. We the stubborn, man. Me and Dell's the most competitive guys in the streaming community. We both do shots and everything. But guess what? That come with the game. That make us both step our game up. That's my man. And I said at the end of my video, that's my man. I ain't blowing him up like that. That's my man. He started the streaming thing. He cut the core thing. People you link with, man. That's it. Paper. Just had to let it go and keep your head up, chin up, and keep focus on, keep focus, man. And anyone. Th that's it. My glow. He thought he set him. He thought you set him free. Set, set up. Set yourself free. I'm not taking sides. I learn from everywhere. Same here. I get my first media center box and taught me how to get content. That's my dog. He good dude, man. Great heart, family, man. I ain't making Dell head already big. I ain't blowing him up no more, but he a genuine person. Me and Dell did this phone thing and everything. But I was mad. He was mad. He good at that, man. Dell be doing some innovative things. And I watch him and I still put my twist on it. I like that guy, man. No disrespect, man. Superdell, appreciate you, man. Octavia, I want us to come together, man. I miss my dog. 
Hey, Billy. No, thank you. Gloria, for for that will be extremely grateful and will continue to hang out with you, but you need to move on. I'm moving on. Thank you, Glow. Miss Tech Savvy. That's my dog. I don't care what nobody said. Super Dell is my man. I ain't blowing his big head up. He started this thing, man. I said, I know you know it's over, my brother. It's been over, man. I just addressed something. He a grown man. He addressed something. I just hope we can come together, man. That's all. Hey, guys, it's been PCD. PCD, uh, Philly Cable Dave, and also, I'm passionate. P, I'm confident. And on this channel, I do it a little different. It's about the end user, people in the chat, and the tech savvy heads. Options and solutions. A lot of people show you about options. I try my best on my channel to show you options and solutions. You got these devices in your home? Bring them back to life. Much love, respect to each and every one. And also, Corbin, a.k.a. Superdell. Much love, respect, man. If you don't accept my apology, I'm going to keep apologizing. No, love, respect, man. I get at you. Peace. Too much talent on YouTube coming for great people. Yeah. Yeah, paper, reach out. Any questions to connect to with Philly, hit him at Gmail. Yes, and give me some just regular emails, nothing controversial or or, or crazy. Much love, respect. You have a great night, y'all. Enjoy the fight. Upset the night. Pack out too old. I'm going, y'all. That's going to get me killed. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all y'all. Here go paper. Good night, Christine. Here go glow. You going to give me CPR? Oh, my unused gate gateway. Thank you, brother. Peace, paper. Guys, before you leave the building, smack that thumbs up. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Good night. Peace.